Welcome to Women Entrepreneurs Radio. I'm your host, Deborah Bailey. And when I started this show in 2008, I was on a mission to promote women-owned businesses and help women succeed by providing resources and valuable tips from other women and men, small business owners. In each interview, my guests speak openly about their triumphs, the scary times, and tough decisions they had to make along the way. Women Entrepreneurs Radio is about showing women how to harness their natural strengths to achieve success on their own terms. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Women Entrepreneurs Radio with your host, Deborah Bailey. I'm really glad that you could join me today. And if you're listening to this on one of the many podcast directories, um, like Podomatic or iTunes, please make sure that um, you will leave some feedback or a review of the show. That'd be great uh, because that's one way to help the show be found by more listeners. So if you're liking what you're hearing in the shows, please make sure that you leave some feedback for us and um, a review of how you're feeling about the show. And also make sure you share it with your friends and other people you think who may benefit from listening to these wonderful conversations with um, women entrepreneurs. So my guest today is Renika Ann, and she's dedicated her life in helping others through communications and public relations under IGN, PR, and company. Renika Ann is the leader and visionary of every campaign she touches. She spearheads strategic campaigns and develops goals for each client. Every win and opportunity for growth is personal. That commitment to personal growth is at the heart of her team's efforts, and she works relentlessly with top PR heads in the industry to focus on mastering relationship-based business to earn her clients' public support. Renika has gained eight-plus years of experience in leadership, event planning, production, public relations, and journalism. As a result of such vast experiences, she created, publishes, and writes for the PR Insights and has published a book series called Putting the PR Back in Entrepreneurship under her PR for a Day Consulting Service. So welcome to the show, Renika. Hi. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, that intro was so so amazing. Thank you so much. It sounds amazing and really uh, sounds fantastic. So I'm really glad that you could join me to share, um, you know, your expertise because that's really what the show is about. Mm-hmm. To showcase. Absolutely. Um, absolutely. Women entrepreneurs. So I'm so glad you could join me. So, you know, before we get started, because I know you've got a lot to, to talk about, many things that you're involved in. Could you just tell us a little bit more about you and your journey and, and starting your firm and, you know, what, what brought you to this place? Um, well, I actually went to college to be a news anchor. Um, I, I love writing. I love journalism. I love everything about reporting. Um, however, once I got ready to graduate with my undergraduate in mass communication from Jackson State, my teacher mentioned that um, I should look into public relations. And so I applied for an internship and I got it. It was in Washington, D.C. at Howard University. And from that internship, I got around 13 job offers in public relations. And so one of those job offers did not come from Atlanta, but I decided that I wanted to move to Atlanta and just force myself inside the PR industry. I loved everything about it. You know, sometimes you'll be in the forefront, sometimes you won't. Mm -hmm. You'll do a lot of writing. You'll push other people campaigns. I mean, it was Like, I got the best of both worlds being a part of public relations, and I didn't even realize that it was a talent or a passion of mine until I graduated. So once I got to Atlanta, you know, I went to grad school, got my um, master's in business and marketing, and from there, IGNPR was created, and um, it's just been such a success. Um, I've I've done a lot of things about uh, within educating myself and going to seminars and teaching and learning and so many different things in the field um, because public relations is so diverse. So I knew I had to find my area in PR and I think I found it. I think my lane is, you know, working with lifestyle brands, small businesses, um, upcoming entrepreneurs and teaching just has always been in my, in my blood. You know, my mom's a teacher, my auntie's a teacher, my sister's a teacher, everyone's a teacher. So 
writing a book and producing seminars, it honestly is the easy part of public relations. The hard part is me, you know, producing campaigns for clients. But this right here, what I'm doing right now with seminars and stuff like that, it's, it's just a part of what I was supposed to be doing. Mm. That's fantastic. And and it's very interesting because I I would say just about everyone I've interviewed, they've always come to the thing that they're supposed to be doing. Um, I, I could almost say in a sideways kind of way, you know, it's not what they thought they would be doing, but then they found it and they found this is really where I belong. So it's right. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's interesting how that happens. <laughs> Yeah, and, and that's one of my goals, you know, with the uh, PR for a day is the consulting service and IG and PR is for someone who wants me to, you know, spearhead their campaign, um, handle their public relations, social media, and that can be for award shows, that can be for events, that can be for galas, uh, uh, author, anything like that. But PR for a day is like a whole nother arena. It's like, okay, I'm basically just teaching you right now because you're not able to afford the PR retainer. And it's so awarding to have um, a, a placement in both of those worlds of public relations. Mm. So why don't you tell us more about, um, about PR for a day? Because there's a seminar series. Yes, absolutely. We're in the middle of a seminar series. Um, called putting the PR back in entrepreneurship, but um, let me backtrack a little bit. PR for a day um, is a consulting service and a training service. So basically, you can hire me, Renika Ann, for an hour up to an entire day to come inside your office and train you or to consult you um, regarding PR services. So I'll just, you know, take a walk in your shoes. I'll sit at your desk. I'll take a look at your team or whatever you need me to do to kind of figure out, okay, how can we put PR inside of your business, inside of entrepreneurship? Um, you know, can your um, assistant do a few PR strategies? Can you yourself do a few PR strategies? Can you bring on some un interns mm -hmm. to handle some PR strategies? You know, what can we do inside your business already, that's already inside your business and include public relations? So that is what PR for a day is all about. We've been doing it for about two years. Mm -hmm. And so because of the success, I decided to brand it on its own. I decided to separate it from IGN, public relations and company all the, all the way together mm -hmm. and create just the brand of PI for a day. And with that, a seminar series and a book, um, a work PR workbook series was produced from that. And the seminar series and the book is called Putting the PR Back in Entrepreneurship. Um, the goal is to write at least two PR workbooks a year. Mm -hmm. and produce four um, seminars a year. And so two seminars will go with the first book and, you know, and the second two seminars will go with the second book. And we just want to travel to major locations and invite 20 to 25 entrepreneurs to come and learn for an entire day. And um, we're, we're doing that November 12th in Miami, Florida. We had a seminar um, June, in June in Atlanta and our next location we're, um, we're striving to go to D.C., L.A., and Chicago. So we don't know which one will be next, but we do know um, those three options are on the table. Mm -hmm. Oh, wonderful. So, um, you know, we were chatting a bit about this before, uh, before we started the show, but this way, whenever um, our listeners are tuning into this, they know that there is probably something coming up and they should check, you know, check yes. your website <laughs> to see where you're going to be next. Absolutely. Um, I say go to our website, PR4Day.net, and join our newsletter. We send out a bi-weekly newsletter full of tips and upcoming seminars and speaking engagements that I have, and um, also just the overall what's next for pr for a day and putting the PR back in entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. We offer a lot of free virtual classes. Um, we have a private group on Facebook where I share tips and, you know, we share, you know, just how we feel about just entrepreneurship as a whole. Mm -hmm. um, so it, it's there is always something going on. The goal is for PR for a day to have some type of presence um, once a quarter of the year. Um, of course, you know, I am running my company, IG and PR. Um, so in the, but in the midst of that, the goal is for PR for a day to have some type of impression at least once a quarter. 
and to offer something to our clients and to our community at least once a month. Mm -hmm. So there is always something going on. Like, honestly, people ask me all the time, Renika, I have no idea how you do it, but (laughs) I have an amazing staff that, you know, works day and night and we have just, we're organized and we have just like a great system in place. And so these things that I do inside my business, it's actually things that I'm sharing with my community and my PFR day clients and community so they can learn, hey, you know, if you get organized as well, if you grow a staff as well, you could be able to um, handle multiple campaigns and multiple businesses and et cetera, et cetera. Mm-hmm. Wow, that's terrific because you, you, you're you doing it. Thank you. certainly share <laughs> with other people how they can keep all those things going and be successful. Yeah. Yeah, I know the first book, um, P- putting the PR back in entrepreneurship was about the outside of the business and about PR and social media and branding and how, you know, mm-hmm. you want to look on the outside. But then as the com- PR for the community grew, I honestly realized how unorganized people were <laughs> and how eventually the inside of their business would affect the outside. So part two yeah. is about the inside, you know, how to organize your business create um departments create job descriptions you know what are some virtual things that you can use a virtual system that you can use to kind of organize your office and so that's what part two is about so honestly you you can't you you're not ready for public relations until every aspect of your business is at least in control because once you get the public looking at you that's when you know you don't want to make your mistakes so you want to try to you know put a band-aid on things and try to fix things up on the inside of your business as that as as, um, as much as possible before you handle pr strategies and that's what pfr day is about you know we're getting you ready for a publicist we're getting you ready for a pr campaign but you know no matter what level you're on whether you're ready for pr right now or whether you're you know just starting out pr for a day has a place for you mm-hmm. wow that that's really great advice um do you think thank that you it really is it's, it's what people need to know um because i i think that a lot of people go into business and particularly we're talking about like lifestyle brands and things that they may not understand exactly what PR is and what they need. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. We get a lot of people in our inbox, you know, asking for, you know, public relations services at a low cost. And that is not accurate. Um, and that just make, told me that people don't understand what PR is used for or yeah. what is, you know, what is supposed to happen. So, I just, you know, for the people that don't have the budget or for people that it's just not ready, that PR for a day is for them. But Mm -hmm. if someone reaches out and, you know, they have an award show coming up or a gala of some sort, anything that does need PR, they go under IGN public relations. And just separating the two has helped me, you know, really as an entrepreneur, you know, it's two strings of income. And it's crazy that I'm doing exactly what I love for both. So, Renika, you're successful at this. Okay, let's put it in a book and let's show other people how they can do that as well. And that's such a clever idea, you know, because some people try to serve everyone and then they, they end up not really achieving anything. And you saw it. Exactly. Yeah. And you said, you know, let me let me find a way to meet this other need as well. Um, so that, that mm-hmm. was very, a very good choice that a lot of people, I don't think they really understand how to do that. <laughs> exactly exactly and you know you don't necessarily want to turn away you know from you know you don't want to necessarily turn away a lot of business when you are an entrepreneur the the goal is for you to create you know different avenues of revenue and not just for you but for your staff and for other people mm-hmm. so PR for a day is you know I'm not going to always be a senior publicist of IGN PR you know eventually I am going to just want to teach full time and, you know, move forward in my career once I get older. Mm-hmm. PR for a day um, is the foundation is being set right now. So within 20 to 30 years, you know, when I retire from IG and PR, if that happens, I can move just and do PR for a day as a consultant. And, you know, as a, you know, someone that's seasoned in the industry. Mm-hmm. Um, so me as well, you know, I'm helping myself 
um, building this program, not just everyone that wants to be a part of it. So your, your expectation sounds like is really to turn this into something um, as you go, like down the road that you, as you said, you're going to now lend your, your talents and expertise to consulting. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh-huh. Later on, mm-hmm. um, that is like, you know, in a few years, I always said that I had to teach at least 10 years. So mm-hmm. um, I, I, I'm, a, I'm a strategist. So I'm hoping like, you know, around 45 or 50, you know, and I say, okay, I'm tired of traveling. Let me just find a classroom and let me get back (laughs) for a few years. You know, that's what I would do. I would teach and PR for a day would be that foundation for me to do so. But, you know, my I'm 27 and my friends, they look at me like, when you could really honestly have your career planned out. I'm like, yeah. I mean, my world is so crazy that I have to at least have something that's in control. And, you know, even though, you know, God holds my future, it may not happen the way I have it written out, but at the mm-hmm. same time, it's still good to have some type of idea. You never know. An investor can be listening to this interview right now, or an investor can get my business card, and they'll ask me, okay, where do you see yourself in 20 years? And I tell them that, and they say, oh, my God, mm-hmm. that's amazing that you know exactly where you want to be. Here's $10,000. I mean, so that's <laughs> what I'm telling you guys. Even though things may change in the future, it's still okay for you to have an understanding of where you want to go. If you don't know where you want to go, you're basically driving, you know, down the road with no destination. And, you know, I, I totally agree. I, I don't think it's it's too early for you to have a vision because, you know, time goes by quickly. Um, years go by, life goes by, and you one day you're this point and the next point you're like, how they get here? So... To have a vision for where you're heading, I don't think it's ever too early for you to say, this is this is where I see myself, and this is where I'm heading to, this is where I'm going, this is where I'm going to use everything I've got. So I, I think it's a fantastic idea that you're doing that, because a lot of people, you know, they can barely make it from day to day, because they don't even know where they are and where they're going. <laughs> yep, yep, exactly, exactly. They don't know, and and so many business owners, so many people start businesses without even having that vision. They and it's unfortunate because then exactly they, yeah, they end up undercutting themselves because they don't really know where they're heading. So they they jump all over the place and and follow every trend, but they don't have a plan or an idea of what is it, where are you going. They can't really tell you exactly. Yeah. So exactly, I, yeah. exactly, and I think that is you know as entrepreneurs we are everywhere we have we are the dreamers of all dreams like we we don't sleep we stay up all night we write out plans and et cetera et cetera but then we don't understand that hey you have to organize that plan you can have the biggest dream and you can have the greatest vision but if it's not you know organized in some way you know there's i mean yeah people have to become or um a overnight success it happens but it doesn't happen every day so you know j- you may not be that overnight success person so let's you know, let's go to the drawing board, let's create a plan, and then let's implement it. That's so true, and, and, and perfectly said, too, I think. So I'm sure the listeners are, are taking this in, because PR, as you mentioned before, is something where people may think, oh, I, I want this, but I, I don't have the budget, or, or they don't really know what's involved, or what, what they really want to gain from it. And, um, you know, it sounds like you're really giving them what they need, um, from a teaching perspective and also being um, a PR expert. So, you know, you, you've got your bases covered, I think. So I'm glad you Absolutely. Come. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, Thank you. I really appreciate it. No, but, you know, you, you see how it is out here and you hear people and you know that they don't really get it and they, they think it's this, they think it's that, they think it's just picking a color for their website. <laughs> they don't know what <laughs> Yeah, it's so much more. Why are you picking that color? What is what is your industry standard? How can you go above that standard? You know, you have to understand all of those things, and that's how you stick out. Because everyone wants to be an entrepreneur. Everyone wants to be this. Everyone wants to be that. So what do you need to do to stick out a bit more? Mm-hmm. Exactly. So that, that again, um, wonderful advice. Um, so to listeners out there, please take all this in. So we're going to take a very short break. And we'll be right back. Hi, this is Deborah. Not only am I host of Women Entrepreneurs Radio, but I'm also a writer and coach. I've learned that making professional changes calls for a change in mindset. And that's not always easy to do. In my book, Think Like an Entrepreneur, 
transforming your career and taking charge of your life, you'll learn the five steps to thinking like an entrepreneur so that you can move from idea to action. You'll also get information on how to manage fear of failure and how to banish self-doubt. And you'll receive lots of motivation to pick you up and point you in the right direction when you're facing the emotional and mental challenges that come with making life changes. In fact, one reviewer said, the book gave me ideas to match with my own feelings. This book is clear, straightforward. All tips are really good and easy to apply. I couldn't agree more. So get your copy today of Think Like an Entrepreneur, Transforming Your Career and Taking Charge of Your Life. It's available in print, ebook, and audiobook on Amazon.com. Hi, everyone. Well, we're back with Renika Ann, and she's talking about the PR for a day seminar series and also a firm, IGN PR and Company. And she's sharing a lot of advice out here. So if you're a business person, then, you know, you really need to be listening and, and sharing this with your friends because this is important stuff that you need to know as far as, um, you know, setting yourself up and, and how you are presenting yourself to the world is very, very important. So, Renika, why don't you please share where people can find more about you and, and your books and the seminar? Well, I take my branding and my plat- my digital platforms very seriously. So, you guys, I am everywhere. Um, I'm on, I have a website, www.renikaann.com. That's R-O-N-N-I-K-A-A-N-N.com. And from there, you can get connected to IGNPR.com and PR4Day.com. Um, and also, we have um, Instagram and Twitter. Um, PR4Day is P-R-F-O-R-A-D-A-Y. And Renika Ann is R-O-N-N-I-K-A-A-N-N. And that is consistent all the way across the board. And we have Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. We have a website. We have everything. We, we uh, IGNPR even has a Snapchat. And we Snapchat for uh, for Renika Ann and uh, Renika Ann and PR for a day from um, our Snapchat. Mm-hmm. So feel free to go to our website www.prforaday.net. I think I said .com last time, but it's .net, mm-hmm. and um, but it's all there. And I cannot wait to connect with you guys. Join the newsletter. I'm give I give out freebies all the time. I, I can't give out that many freebies because you know I do this full time and I have a staff. However, it is enough information there for you to know. Okay. Oh, I need more information. Let me purchase part one. Let me par- purchase part two. Um, part one really is already released. It released in June, and part two will be available nationwide um, November twelfth. Uh, come 12 o'clock um, that morning, it's going to be available for everyone that's at the seminar. But come 12 o'clock noon, it will be available for everyone. The purpose for you to come to the seminar is for me to review the book, for you to see the book, and you know, uh, take a look at it, write in it, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, so for everyone else who don't come to the seminar, the book is available, and it's going to make you want to come to all of our seminars. So <laughs> trust and believe, all of our part one attendees are. You know, they were in Atlanta and our part two attendees are in Miami. So now the part one is like, well, can I see part two virtually? And so, yeah, we have virtual tickets for that for people who cannot travel. So uh, you're not too far behind. So go ahead and purchase part one. And then when part two comes out, you'll be right on task. So Wonderful. So there's, there's nobody's going to fall behind here. So <laughs> Don't fall behind. Don't fall behind. <laughs> but I do review part one a little bit in part two, but it's going to make you want to go read part one because I give a little tease, but not too much. And part one was amazing. Like we sell, we, a part one sells like, I think I sell like three books a week. It's amazing. Like we just sold another book like two days ago. And I was like, wait, did you, are you requesting part two or part one? He said, I'm trying to catch up. I need part one because part two is coming. I said, okay. So it's, it's definitely out there. And the funny thing about my books are um, they were just for seminar attendees. They weren't, they weren't supposed to be for the public. Mm-hmm. And I had my advisors, you know, kind of read it, my marketer and my uh, accountant and my lawyer. 
they read it and it was like, Renika, honestly, I think you should release this to everyone. You know, just take a stab at it and see what people say. And so now because of that, part two will be available for the public because part one has been a hit. Mm, that's fantastic. And you're going to... I'm not trying to be Amazon bestseller. You know, I'm not. That wasn't even the purpose of it at all. You know, it was people were uh, were scheduling consultations and then the book will be a part of their consultation and that's how they would get it. So, you know, we're not keeping track of how many sales or anything like that because it's honestly, it was an accident. It was mm -hmm. just something that I put out there and it happened. And so now, you know, for 2017, I am working on an actual book, not a PR book, but I mean, not a PR workbook, but an actual book. But right now the PR workbooks are what's out there for you guys. Great. And and that's a great point you made about um, you know you're not focused on the on the bestseller title that so many people get wrapped up in and the thing is you're you're sharing information that's necessary and that's really where you're coming from and I think that's that's what people are going to respond to that that you really want to help them and also you're growing um, your business and and as you said have multiple income streams and so it it, it really is a win win. Right, exactly. Thank you so yeah. much. I mean, a lot of people, this one guy, he called me, he's like, oh my God, you stuff published your book. I can show you how to be a first seller in like the first 10 days. And I was like, well, honestly, it's okay. I, I, I'm, I, I don't want to, it's not that I don't want to be a bestseller. This was not for that purpose. Right. You know, I am working on an actual book that will be for that purpose. So right now, this is honestly to build the foundation and the credibility for myself as a publicist and for my brand. Yeah. And that's what it was for. And that's what it's doing. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You know, cause I'm, I'm, you know, uh, also an author and I know a lot of people get so caught up in, in that bestseller <laughs> hype, but the, the bottom line to me is that, well, you know, now we're in a, a place where books can be available forever because they're, they're online. Yep. Always be ordered. You, it's not like they're in the bookstore now and again in, in a few weeks. So you you really have to look at the bigger picture, not just those few days, yep. right? That you get the bestseller, but going forward, you know what what is your vision? Like you said, you know you know what your vision is. A lot of people they just want that hit, and then they don't yep. know what happens after. <laughs> so. Yeah, and I tell a lot of that's that's one of my quotes. Um, if you instead of focusing on the title, focus on the requirements of that title. So to be a bestseller, you don't want to sell your book at a penny or mm -hmm. two cents. <laughs> I don't, I don't really, you know, that's like you just gave out, you know, your book. You kind of cheat the system, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, and that, I wasn't interested in that at all. Mm hmm. And yeah, that's another excellent point because people do that or they'll, they'll just give it away because they want to hit a certain number, but then they're not really mm -hmm. thinking about, well, what's next, you know, and what was the point of this? <laughs> Where are you going with exactly. it? Exactly. Yeah, you're right. Exactly. That, that's an excellent, excellent point to make, um, I think, because I see that a lot, um, you know, from a writing perspective and you're like, come on, you know, come on, you, you're focusing on the wrong things. So I'm, I'm glad to hear. Yep. Uh, a PR expert <laughs> <laughs> say that because I know okay. I, I get that I, I probably I'm, heard some feelings out there <laughs> probably bumped here, yeah. but I messed up a few strategies but I I'm sorry I have to look at the bigger picture right. and you know to be a bestseller I want to sell my book at full price and right. I want people to you know my mom can buy a book for a penny but I want you know experts out there to pay 20 to 30 dollars for a book and say oh my god this is really good and then they tell their networks and they are able to afford a 20 to 30 dollar book and that is how you get the the credibility because i want to reach yeah. the i want to reach the right right audience i don't necessarily have to you know quality over quantity you know so quality people i want those people to get my book and to you know be a part of pf for a day i don't have to be you know famous you know, right. I, but I do want to eventually make the Forbes list. So, and wow. to get that, I have to reach quality people. So. Yes, yes. Well, I can tell you have a, a nice vision. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you definitely so much. Do. You definitely do. That's 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 what it takes. 
So, um, you know, you tell us about how you see things going forward and your plans, you know, but right now, what's, what's, what's your next step? Let's say next. Step. Right now, um, my next step is to, is for me, Renika Ann, to, you know, get on the road and do more speaking engagements based off the book. Uh, for part two, um, I'm heading to Charlotte. Um, I have a few seminars in Atlanta. Um, we have um, uh, an engagement in New York, in Chicago that are both pending. Um, so that is the goal right now for Renika. Um, for IGNPR, uh, we are going so strong right now. We had the best year ever for 2016. And I just want to continue that stride for 2017, where we're um, going to be taking a presence in multiple markets. So that is how PR for a day and IGN will merge eventually where, okay, I see that Miami is really good. Okay, let me produce a campaign in Miami on behalf of IGN, you know, with a client, you know. So eventually that is how they will help each other out. So IGN PR, my focus is to get um, bigger clientele, higher clientele, um, to get on a more national, global level. Mm -hmm. uh, for IGN, um, PR for a day, continue with the, the stride that we're on. I, I'm, I love the growth. I honestly really do. Like I, the development of it, how it started off with just training and teaching people about PR. Mm -hmm. And now I went to uh, training and helping people on a lifestyle basis. You know, one virtual class was just strictly on you as a person. And Someone said, are you becoming a life coach? And I was like, oh, my God, I think I am. <laughs> and so, but then it went to from business development. But then I, I honestly realized for an entrepreneur to fully grow, they have to first handle their business. They have to handle their personal life. And then, you know, everything else will move forward because sometimes things on the outside look good, but the inside doesn't, and eventually the inside would affect the outside. So it all works. So I'm honestly enjoying the journey of PF for a day. I'm enjoying the different avenues that it's, you know, expressing and different things like that. So for my three brands, Renika Ann, IG and PR, PF for a day, what's next is growth and opportunity and just the love of um, meeting new people and the development of it all. Mm. That sounds fantastic. And and you made, you know, another wonderful point about how people have to get themselves together um, in order to really be good as entrepreneurs, because you were saying about, you know, someone saying it sounds like life coaching, but it really is because you, you're putting yourself. Yeah. Into, yeah. And, and you, you're going to, you're going to hit all those issues. If you have issues around money, if you have issues around self-esteem, um, what you think you can accomplish, all that's going to come up when you start your business. So absolutely, yeah, all of absolutely. that, without a doubt, because you, you can't have a vision like your vision is if, if you're thinking small or you're afraid to step out. You know, it, you, you can't do both at the same time. So you really have to clear out all that stuff. So that that's an excellent point and again so much here for listeners to take away and and learn from and understand um which is why i do this show because we really help to be reinforced when we hear what people are doing and that can we can take that in and we can do better as well so i'm i'm you know really grateful for you to share all this knowledge with us so we're just about the end of the show we've covered so much um Renika, so i don't know if there's Thank any you. We didn't say or any final thoughts you want to leave us with, but, um, you know, please feel free to share them right now. If, if there's anyone out there that, you know, is at a certain level with their brand, with their business, um, whether you are an entrepreneur, small business, lifestyle brand, or even an entertainment, whether you're actress or anything like that, um, IG and PR is open for clients. Um, you can visit the website at www.ignpr.com and all of our past, uh, most of our past campaigns are there. You know, we've handled campaigns in LA, in Atlanta, um, in uh, Charlotte. You know, we have a lot of past campaigns that are there. And so we are available for clients. I don't want uh, people to, set, to think, oh, PR for a day is only for upcoming. Where do I go if I'm established? So, Definitely um, go to www.ignpr.com. You can download our portfolio. You can shoot me an email. We're very personable. 
Um, me and my assistant, we respond literally within the first couple of hours, or if not the next minute. <laughs> so we're very personable. So you will have our direct email and our direct um, contact information. Um, so yeah, that is what I want to leave with. And make sure you guys, you know, believe in yourself first. Um, it, it is good to have a, a great circle around you, but you want to have a close knit circle. Um, everyone around you is now for your good. So make sure you understand what circle, uh, of, of the person around you belong in, you know, are they for your personal life? Are they, are they for your business life? You know, sometimes my mom don't understand everything or all the decisions that I make business wise. So she can't be a part of my business circle. So I think that's very important for entrepreneurs. You have to understand who's around you because that, um, that, uh, that feel, that negativity that they may have can, you know, be rubbed off on you and you don't want that. So make sure you have strong and confident and positive people around you as you continue to strive to grow your business every single day, especially you authors out there that need that creative spirit around you, that positivity to be able to push that, you know, that, that the content out of you. Please be cautious, cautious of what you surround yourself with every single day. And I can leave you guys with that. <laughs> well, that's perfect. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I talk about that in my book for part two, your different types of circles. So oh, wonderful. So. <laughs> wonderful. Giving us a little teaser there for, for what's coming up. On. <laughs> Thank you so much. You've given us so much wisdom um, in a very short time. And I really appreciate you being a guest and sharing your vision and your businesses. And um, it's just been a fantastic conversation. Thank you so much, Renika. No problem. And you guys have a wonderful day. Okay, everyone, I know you enjoyed this show. Please be sure to share it on social media, share it with your friends, listen again and again if you, if you uh, want to, and, and visit Renika's uh, websites and her social media and see if you can participate in a seminar or hire her. If, if you know, you've got what you're uh, looking for a great PR person, please make sure you do because this is so important, especially with all the social media and all the different ways that you can reach people and so many people out here. Uh, doing their businesses, you really got to find that way to stand out and get your business going. So please make sure you take advantage of all of that. Okay. So once again, it's been Women Entrepreneurs Radio with your host, Deborah Bailey. So glad you could join me and we'll see you again next time. Bye-bye. Thanks for joining us. You can also join in the conversation on facebook.com slash women entrepreneurs and on the website, women entrepreneur secrets. Com. And don't forget to listen in on dvcoach.podomatic.com and on iTunes.